All right then, my friends. So at the minute, what we're doing is creating two new instances of this user class. And when we do that, we're getting the same property values for the username and email on each one. So when we output them over here, if I was to save this and refresh over here, then we see the duplicate data because they're both the same. They both have the same data, which is hard coded right here. Now, it would be nice if instead when we create these user objects, if we could pass in a username, here and an email and then it would assign those values to these properties and we can do that but we're going to need the aid of a special function to do that in PHP and that is called a constructor function. So we define that inside our user class. So it's going to be public, it's going to be a function and then this has a special name underscore underscore construct like so and now this function is going to fire to set up our user when we instantiate a new one. So what happens is that we say, look, we want a new user and it creates a new instance of the user object based on this class, right? And then right away, it fires this construct method right here, the constructor. And inside this method, we can set up the new values for these two properties on that instance. So we could say, for example, in here, well, okay, at this point, when we first create the object, I want to take this and then get the username value and set it equal to something else. So for now, let's just hard code this again. I'm going to set it equal to Ken and I'm going to change the email. So I'll say this and then email is going to be equal to Ken at the net ninja .uk. So now whenever we create a new user, what's happening is is creating the user object and assigning these uh, values to the variables to begin with the properties but then this construct method is running right here and it's saying well actually I want the username property of this instance to be Ken and I want the email property of this instance to be Ken at the net ninja uk so if I save this now as we echo all of this stuff out it should have been updated so let me save it and refresh and we can see now we get Ken now this isn't really any better because we're still getting all of the same data because now instead of all of the data being hard coded here and we get that data instead now it's hard coded here so instead I'd like to pass in the data as arguments into this thing right here and then accept them into this construct and we can do that so say for example I pass in in this one Mario and then the email would be Mario at the net ninja uk and I could also do the same thing for the second one so I say Luigi right here and then the second argument would be Luigi at the net ninja uk so now we're passing in two arguments into this thing right here where we create a new instance and those arguments can get accepted into this construct method so we can call these parameters whatever we want inside here makes sense to me to call them username and also email in that order because we have username first and email second and now we can access these things that we pass in right here okay so what I could do instead of saying the username is now equal to Ken I'm going to say the username is equal to the username that we pass in and we don't have to call this username it doesn't have to equal whatever this is this could be called like you or a if you want it to I like to keep it the same name just to keep things consistent and I know what is meant to be what so we'll also set the email property equal to the email parameter that we take in right here. And now whenever we create a new user, they're going to have unique values because we pass them into the construct function. And then inside that, we're assigning these property values to the parameters we take in. Does that make sense? OK, so let's try this and refresh over here. Now we should get Mario and Luigi. Awesome. We do. So now we're doing this now we're passing in this data right here we no longer need to hard code the data here so we can just delete that there and delete that over here and we're still defining these properties because we still want every user to have a username property and an email property but we're not hard coding the values of those properties yet we're only assigning those properties values inside the construct method which runs right after the user instance is created so in there, we're grabbing these empty properties now and we're setting values to those empty properties. So now we've deleted those. I'm just going to save again to show you this still works. A refresh and voila. There we go.
So my friends, this is starting to take shape so that now we've created a user class with some different properties and this thing right here, this method, as well as a construct method. So now we can create completely unique user objects very easily using that class.